What is the big difference between Ibrahim Trave, that is the president of, of Burkina Faso, and our president of the Republic of Kenya, that is Dr. William Samoy Ruto? Welcome back to Vana Media. My name is Bonfessor Wino, and as usual, I'm going to be your host for today. Now, I want us to discuss this thing one by one up to the end. And please, I would like you to listen to me. I would like us to go up to the end so that up at the end of up to, after watching this video, you like you'll, it will be easy for you to give me a comment at the comment section so that you can also tell me what you think. Because I know that this video is not, go, is not only going to be watched by the people within this country, but also by the people outside the country. And I would love you to tell me the country that you are watching us from. I want us to talk about this issue of a country borrowing money from, from the developing country or third world countries. Because we know very well that for a country to borrow money or financial support, for a country to seek for financial support into, uh, to these, uh, from this from these develop, developed country or third world country, there are some of the specific organizations that these countries direct a country to go and borrow money from. That is number one. We have got IMF and then we also have the World Bank Organization. That Those are the two specific organizations that a country is all no, normally directed to go and borrow money from. But this, why is it that they are normally directed to go and borrow money from these specific organizations? This is the reason. Reason number one. This these organizations normally have got conditions that they put in place that before a country is given money, there are some of the documents that you have to sign that you have agreed with the terms and the conditions before being given money. Now, let us take for instance like a country like Kenya. For Kenya to go and borrow money from USA, the president of the Republic of Kenya, that is Dr. William Samoy Ruto, must be given some conditions. And if Indeed, he is interested in, in, in getting fi some financial support. He will be forced to sign these documents and agree with the terms. The, the, the term number one, that there was a time that the president wanted to borrow money. And the condition that he was given was very simple. You have to accept that LGBTQ will be approved in your country. That was the first condition. And it f be sim but because, because the president wanted support, the financial support, in which we don't know what the money was coming to do, so it forced him to get into this agreement. And therefore, that is, the, that, that is how the LGBTQ was, that, that is how the LGBTQ came and was accepted into this country. So that is the first condition. For you to be given financial support, you have to accept our terms and conditions. And these terms and conditions are, are only given in two specific organizations. And they, they are only two organizations that give support to the world. The IMF and the World Bank Organization. Why am I including the, Burkina, the current president of Burkina Faso, that is Ibrahim Trave? Ibrahim Trave declared and declined all this support, saying that he will not accept the support that these... The, the financial support from any organization or from any country. He would like to maintain the legacy and he would like to maintain the infrastructure and the interest of his own people because he cares too much about his people more than even the money that is, is supposed to be given. Now, I've told you that uh, for a long time now, countries like our own country, Kenya, have been taking loans from these developed these organizations to do the projects. Like number one, we there's a time that Kenya took loan to come and uh, build the, I think the SGR, yes, the SGR, and there are a lot of things that uh, the country has been taking man loans to come and do, which has really increased the re the the depth of our country together uh, from the, with the with the people of China and all those countries or all those develop the, the developing countries. There is something that we have to understand that Burkina Faso president is saying and is, is like this is like a eye, an eye opener to all the presidents of, the, of, the, of, of Africa because Africa is the only continent that is being 
uh, that is 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 being brainwashed or is being forced to borrow money because they think that we Africans have not developed enough that we can stand by ourselves. We can depend on ourselves. Another condition that uh, there is another condition that when you go to borrow money from these developed countries, the another condition is you have to reduce the government expenditure on social infrastructure, which in long term will come to infect or will come to affect a normal citizen. So I think these are the, these are the reasons as to why these guys saw that, no, we don't need this thing. Why would we continue to be in debt? Why would we continue to be like a puppet? Why will we continue to, be, to, to stay in one place? We are not developing, yet we are taking loans because we take loans today, tomorrow we are supposed to pay. We are in debt. Our, and the debt, the debt does not come to an end. And therefore, we cannot improve as a country. So there is no need of taking money from these developed countries. But the big question is, another, the big question that I want us to ask ourselves as Kenyans is, can our president realize that uh, these organizations uh, like the IMF and the World Bank organizations are uh, agents of uh, economic oppression that keeps a country through a structure operation because it's a very, it, is a, it is very difficult for us as country, as a Kenya, as a Kenya country, to break through this debt. Why, 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 why are we on debt? Why, why is it that a country like Kenya is normally on debt? The economic policies that come with the, with, the, with the terms and the conditions before you have been given money. I told you that for these organizations to give you money, there are some of the terms and the conditions that you have to accept before you are given money. And that is why now we Kenyans are continuing to be on debt. Every now and then we are like, oh, we have got a, a debt of 300 billion, I don't know, something like 200, 100 billion, trillion, 1 trillion, 2 trillion. Why? Because... The policies that they gave us and the condition that they gave us made us to accept because we, were, we, 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 we needed the help. And of course, these conditions, they, come, they, they give you conditions because they know after all you need help and there is nothing you can do. It, it, will, it, will, only, it will only take you a, 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 a moment to accept then you're given money. And this thing ends up affecting the economy of a country other than improving the economy. I want us to take a look at our, our economy right now. Is it really good? Is the economy of Kenya really good? Is the economy of uh, any country that has uh, accepted these, these organizations' uh, financial support, is it really good? I have got three questions here before I give you a chance at the comment section so that you can also tell me your thoughts because those were just my thoughts. Though I, I, I was reading, the, I, I was reading some, some, something that, uh, some article written by the Burkina Faso president, uh, that is uh, Ibrahim Travi. That is why I decided to play this video so that at least we can know where we are so that we can compare the difference between our president and the president of Burkina Faso and other presidents. Those who have, those who have accepted the, the financial support from these organizations and those who have refused the, the financial support from these organizations. Is it true when uh, Ibrahim Travis says that a country that has accepted, that a country that is being financed by the IMF or uh, World Bank organization not up, will, will not achieve economic independence? Is it right or is he right by saying that any country that has accepted to be financed, to, to be on debt or to be financed by the World Bank organization or the IMF will not have the economic independence? That is number one. The second thing, is it easy for our president, the president of the Republic of Kenya, to stand and say that he will not borrow any, any money from, all the, from these organizations because he is interested in building the life of the Kenyan citizens by supporting them, by supporting what, with what they have? The third and the last question, why is the president intended to, to visit the United States of America according to Mega White? Because since 2008, no Kenyan president has ever visited the United States of America. And right now, Mega White broke the silence yesterday, two days ago, by saying that the president is intended to go and visit the United States of America. The big question is, what is the relationship that is in between the president of the Republic of Kenya, that is Dr. William Samoy Ruto, together with Joe Biden? What is the, the, the relationship? I don't know what you think. That is just my thought. I would also like to also give you a chance the comment section so that I can tell me what you think. But don't forget, please, to give, tell me your location. Tell, don't, tell, don't forget to tell me you're watching us from. If you're watching us from Kenya, tell us you're watching us from Kenya. Especially if you're outside the country, you can tell us which country you're watching us from, how these videos are reaching you. And please don't forget also to subscribe. And I normally say that feedback is normally the key thing in any form of communication. Please, 
I also like to thank those who are giving us support from the from Germany, from Saudi Arabia, from Arabic countries or from Gulf. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Those who are from Brazil, those who are from uh, from Ghana, from Nigeria. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Even those who are from Egypt and our neighbors, Tanzania, Uganda, here, Ethiopia. Thank you very much. May God bless you. And also those who are within the country, people like Jefferson, Jefferson Siringa, people like Mili, people like Helmet 254. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Asante sana. And always keep on tuned in to Havana Media. Until we meet again, I've been your host, Boneface Awino.